It took me six months to plan my journey walking across America. I had to plan out a place to stop and refuel food and water every three days. I also knew that I needed $8,000 to cover all of my expenses while I was on the road. I didn't have a lot of money back then. At the time, I was driving for Lyft and Uber, and I only had enough to pay my bills week to week. So coming up with $8,000 was a pretty big feat. But I didn't let that stop me. Every morning before I got out of bed, I told myself somehow, some way, I was going to get $8,000. Now at first, it felt like a lie. It felt like there was no way I could get $8,000. There was a little voice in the back of my head that always crept in and said, you're crazy. How are you gonna make this happen? How are you gonna do this? But the important thing I've learned in manifesting any dream is to not listen to those dissenting voices. I've heard that doubt is the number one killer of every dream, and I believe that with my whole heart. So instead of letting those doubts creep in, I would reaffirm as strongly as I could and with as much faith as I possibly could, you're going to get $8,000. And I would imagine it in my bank account. So as I planned my journey every morning and every night for those six months, I would say to myself, I'm going to get $8,000. I'm going to get $8,000. And after about three or four months, not a dang thing happened. My bank account stayed at the same level and the day got closer and closer for me to leave to begin my walk across America. One day, I was invited to an event for fellow Lyft drivers where we would socialize. And I had been to an event like this before. And when I arrived at the event, someone I noticed caught my eye. And for some reason, just before we parted ways, I was inspired to ask this guy, listen, if you know of any ways to make some extra cash, let me know. I'm trying to set up some money for a project and I need some help, so please let me know. Believe it or not, he called me that same day and he told me that he was going to Nashville to work at a recruiting event for a competing company, Uber. So back in those, those days, Uber was spending a lot of money from all of their venture capital investors trying to recruit new drivers and Nashville was one of the cities that they hadn't been able to crack. The Nashville drivers for Lyft were very uh, fervently supporters, fervent supporters of the Lyft platform, and they didn't want to try Uber. So, in, in an effort to get more drivers to convert to the Uber platform, they were offering anyone who could come out and convince them to convert, or at least just to take one ride. They didn't even have to stop driving for Lyft. Just to take one ride on the Uber platform, they would get $1,000. And, more importantly, whoever brought them in and recruited them would also get $1,000. So when I heard about this from my friend from the Lyft event, I thought immediately, oh, that's crazy. That I, I've never done anything like this. There's no way I can do this. How am I gonna make money with this? First of all, I have to pay for my flight to get to Nashville. I have to split the money for the hotel with this guy that I've never even, I hardly know. But something deep inside me said, do it. And I've learned that when I am inspired to take action, I have to take it. If I'm reaching for a goal and there's something I'm wanting, oftentimes that little voice inside that's pushing me forward to try something new is a miracle. It's a sign. It's something that I have to listen to. And so I did. I bought my ticket to Nashville and I went out pounding the pavement, hailing Lyft drivers to pick me up and take me to random locations just for the opportunity to pitch the idea to these people. I went through 20 or 30 drivers in the course of two or three days, and believe it or not, many were very hesitant. Lots of people didn't even want to consider working for Uber. They were loyal to the Lyft brand, and they didn't care how much money Uber was offering them. But there were some, and I had no idea how many I was able to recruit because they had to finish signing up, they had to take their first ride, and by the time all was said and done, I returned back home to Los Angeles and I only had two weeks left to walk, to begin my walk across America. Lo and behold, about a week after I finished recruiting and returned to Los Angeles, I checked my bank account and all of the drivers who, had, who I had recruited had finished the, either finished the process or had dropped off the process or were disqualified. And in the end, guess how many total drivers signed up? Exactly eight. I got exactly $8,000, the $8,000 I had been pleading for and asking the universe for from the very beginning. So the lesson for me is 
Whatever you want, name it. And if you name it, you can claim it. But you have to be specific because you're going to get what you ask for. It's not going to come in the way you expect. It's not going to come probably when you expect. But when you believe and you put enough faith behind your words and you never give up, I promise you will see miracles. The key is faith. The key is in your belief. You must continue to believe no matter what. And when doubt creeps in, it's your job, your only job, to push it away, to replace those doubtful feelings and those doubtful thoughts with faith, with the assurance and with the surety that you are going to reach your goal. Today, I'll leave you with a quote. If in your mind, you can see it, and in your heart, you believe it, you will surely achieve it. So go out there and make those dreams a reality. And don't forget to be courageous. Yeah.